In this tutorial, we will learn how to work with the Cinematic Titles Pack in Premiere Pro. We'll go through the pack together and create both simple and complex titles through three different examples that vary in difficulty, showing you all that is possible with this pack. In Premiere Composer, open the Cinematic Titles folder and choose a title you like. We'll go with this one. Click the Add button to add this title to your timeline. First thing we'll want to do is change the font. We'll go with Inner. After that, change the text. We can see that our highlighting feature doesn't look right, so let's fix it. Open up the Highlight section. Here, we can either disable or enable the highlighting of the text. We can change the starting position and the length. Next, change the highlight color and change the text weight. Now we just need to change the color of our text slightly. Let's go with a subtle yellow tint. We could also adjust the scale of the text. Change the tracking or even give it a bit of slant, but we'll keep it as is this time around. We can now add footage behind our title so we can see how the title would look in action. Let's drag in a clip and preview our animation. Perfect, already feels like a title sequence on an unnamed streaming service. But what if you wanted to create something a bit more complex? Well, you can combine multiple titles together and customize them so they all feel unified. We'll start by importing a left-aligned version of a kerning title. Move it to the start of the timeline, and let's preview how the animation looks by default. Next, we'll change the duration to 9 seconds. After that, change the text. For this example, we'll change it to Artist Spotlight. Now, on to the customization options. Let's start by changing the scale for both texts. Adjust line distance and tracking. And change the color to white. We can now play around with the animation settings. The in animation seems to be a bit too slow for this example, so let's change it to 160. While at it, we can change the position offset and the random seed as well so that the animation looks more unique. We can also adjust the out animation. The speed of this animation is fine, but let's change the position offset and random seed again. Finally, turn off the continuous animation since we want the animation to remain mostly static. Looking good. All we need to do for this title now is to reposition it to the bottom to make room for our other titles. And let's preview the title one last time to make sure that we like how it looks. We can make changes to this title later on as well, but it's best to have this main title nailed down before adding others. Now let's add in one of the other titles which will showcase our artist's name. We can go with this deformation title. Again, align it in the timeline and preview the default animation so we can see what to change and what to keep. I can already see that we'll need to remove the outlines here as they don't fit our previous title, but before that, we'll make some other changes. Start by changing the duration to nine seconds. Add the name, in my case, it will be Alex Stable. The weight of the text could be lowered to medium here for a better look. You can also use special ASCII characters in these text fields like this arrow right here. Next, let's customize it a bit. Adjust the line distance and tracking and change the color to a light yellow to match our background footage. Now we can get to the outlines. We have two choices here. Either we can color the outlines, or we can disable the outlines altogether. Personally, I think it works better without the outlines here, so we'll disable them. While we are here, we can also change the in animation speed so it's a little slower. And let's preview it again. Now we just need to find a place for this title. I think that putting it in the empty space of the artist spotlight text would work well, so let's try that. Scale down the text first, and then reposition it. Works great. Next, we'll add a title with the name of our fictitious studio called Hey Studio. We can use this left-aligned fractal title for it. Again, align it in the timeline and preview the default title animation. Our goal now will be to match the style of this new title to the other ones and find the best place for it. What I'm thinking is putting it at the very top might work best, so we'll do that. But first. Let's make our changes. Start by changing the text. Scale down the text. And change the font to Enter to match our other titles. Adjust the tracking. Change the color. And preview the animation. We can slow down the in and out animations slightly and turn off the continuous animation too. Next, the animation options. There's a lot more you can do with these settings, but We'll go over all of those in the third and final example. Now just change the duration to 9 seconds and move the title to the very top of the scene. 
You know what? We should also scale down the title a little bit more as well. Perfect. One thing that we can do to make this slightly better is that we can make a rotoscope version of our person here and put it on top so that the title animates behind this person. I've already prepared a rotoscoped footage, which I'll be using for that. Import it and align it with the start of the timeline. Select all of the titles and move them a few frames ahead. Perfect. Ready to be used in an amazing documentary about up and coming artists. Now onto something a bit more advanced. We'll go over how to create this amazing title sequence and learn about all the different animation options available in the included fractal titles. To replicate the exact sequence shown, we'll need a footage and a rotoscoped version of said footage with an isolated subject on it. After that, we'll want to import one of the fractal titles. Let's go with this one. Align it to the start of the timeline. Change the duration to six seconds and preview the animation to see how it looks by default. Next, change the text to Lost in the Desert. Change the scale and reposition it so the title is in the middle of our scene. Change the text 1 and 3 to the same color. And change the text 2 color to a dark color. Turn off the out animation. Change scaling speed to 50 and preview the animation. Now onto the animation options we talked about. With these fractal titles, we can choose what type of reveal animation we want and adjust almost every aspect of it with these controls. For the fog animation, we can adjust the size, opacity, complexity, noise scale, random seed. For the reveal animation, we can adjust the intensity, complexity, random seed, and noise scale. You can experiment with these controls and create a unique title for yourself. But for our title in this example, we'll only want to adjust the reveal style to fog only and keep all of the other options unchanged. Now we'll mask the title with our rotoscoped footage. Add a track matte key effect onto our title. Change the matte to a video layer with our rotoscoped footage. Reverse it and unhide our rotoscope layer. Let's preview the animation. We can add some finishing touches onto the title by tinting the color slightly so it matches the dust storm when animating in. Add a tint effect onto the title. Change the white color to darker brown. Go to the 10 frame in the timeline and keyframe the amount to 100% here. Then move around one second forward and keyframe the amount once again, this time to 0%. In the effects control, we can also change the easing of the last keyframe to ease out. Hide the effects control and preview our final animation. And with that, everything's done. We now have an amazing title sequence for an epic science fiction film. Now that you know how to use these titles and our library as a whole, you can go out there and create something you'll be proud of. Get this at mrhorse.com.